Confirmed that Antonio Conte has declared his stay at Tottenham. A potential move for Inter Milan's wing-back, midfielder, left midfielder, Perisic. And a new Kane contract on the cards. These are today's transfer rumours. Let's get cracking on. Antonio Conte has declared that he is staying at Tottenham. I mean, was anyone even in any doubt with that at all? I felt pretty confident myself after the fact that we beat Arsenal and beat Norwich and getting Champions League football that Conte would be staying on. But apparently um, that wasn't 100 percent. According to Fabrizio Romano, it has never been in doubt. Spurs sources have been confident for days and it's now decided Antonio Conte will be Tottenham manager for next season. Harry Kane's new deal, Ivan Perisic's main target and more. Plans have now started. Okay, well, my thoughts on that. Firstly, I thought Conte was staying the second that we were pretty much getting Champions League football. So I don't know if there was actually any uncertainty to it because I don't know if that's how you guys felt. But for me personally, I thought if we get Champions League football, then Conte staying. Of course, you know, we had our doubts this season, be it against Middlesbrough after the defeat and against Burnley too, when um, Conte went in a very interesting rant. If you don't please Conte, then expect him to either walk out or the club will pretty much get the brunt of it. I mean, we saw that with Chelsea when um, after Conte won the league with Chelsea, apparent sources that he wasn't happy with signings like Bakayoko or Rudiger. Let's also, you know, look at Inter Milan and Juventus, for example. This is an article when on the day Conte walked out, stating that he did hint that he could quit Serie A Giants if it failed to invest in players during the summer break ahead of a fresh assault on the Champions League. Very similar as well with Inter Milan. They just won the league and then the board decided to get rid of players. So for this transfer window, I think it is crucial and it's pivotal that now that Conte has declared his stay at Tottenham, we need to get the players that he so desires. We do not want any of that. We cannot have Levy doing, you know, the usual stuff, penny pinching. This is a man who talks big and wants big things in football. And in only, the only way to do that is to start acting like a big club. Let me know your thoughts on the, what you were feeling um, after we got the Champions League. Because like I said, I'm pretty sure that since qualifying for the Champions League, Conte was pretty much the man to stay. Moving on to transfer rumours, Perisic to Tottenham. Perisic is a free agent come June and he has not had any talks with the club to extend his contract. Age 33, but very experienced in my opinion. He's also incredibly versatile, so the fact that he can play as a midfielder, as a left mid and as a wing back on both spectrums, then he surely should be someone for a very high consideration. He should surely be someone highly considered for the role. I mean, let's not forget as well that he has won the Champions League. He has won Serie A with Inter Milan. This man has got experience. If we also look at the stats, uh, in Serie A, he has made 35 appearances, 8 goals and 7 assists. In total, 49 appearances this season, 10 goals and 9 assists. I mean, wouldn't those be the stats that we're looking for for a wing-back? The fact as well that Perisic has played with Conte before. Conte clearly trusts that there is something about Perisic, regardless to his age, and that we should bring him forward. Let me know what you think about that. According to Fabrizio Romano, Ivan Perisic won't announce his final decision today. For sure, Tottenham are leading a race since Monday. They want the Croatian winger as priority. He is in Conte's list. Inter have not received any official answer from Perisic yet after last bid to extend his contract. According to Miguel Delaney, Perisic is close to the deal with Spurs, set to give decision on Monday, specifically name-checked by Conte today in his meeting as the Italian is set to stay. According to a lot of sources as well, Chelsea are very interested in signing Perisic, so maybe this could be a battle between Tottenham and Chelsea to try and sign Perisic. We don't have wing-backs that do the proper job a wing-back should be doing. With Perisic's experience and Perisic's past crosses that we have seen, simply being that his experience and the fact that he's been in this uh, role for quite a long time would suggest that it would be silly not to try and get him into Spurs. Let me know your thoughts below if we should get also this former Champions League winner. And lastly, it is rumoured that Harry Kane will be working towards with the club to sign a new contract that will last up until 2026. According to Ekrem Kona, Tottenham Hotspur will begin talks with Harry Kane to extend his contract till 2026. Kane wants to stay and beat Spurs' goal-scoring record with Antonio Conte now giving a club a genuine chance of being competitive. It's very interesting that this time last year, you know, the thought of Harry Kane leaving Tottenham was very imminent. We thought that it was actually going to happen. 
Um, you saw in past interviews uh, during the first lockdown when Harry Kane had an, an Instagram live interview, I believe it was, with Jamie Redknapp, saying that if he doesn't see things change at the club, then he doesn't see any reason to stay and he might have to consider his options. Having said that as well, Harry Kane had a very, very interesting golf interview and said his honest thoughts on him being a Spurs player, stating, you know, that he wants to see his club do well, but if he can't pursue anything in his career, then maybe there's no point in him staying. A very weird looking goodbye as well when fans were finally let in, or limited section I should say, when Tottenham lost to Aston Villa and Harry Kane was clapping the fans. A hint really to say goodbye. Then Harry Kane not turning up to training, his brother pulling the strings behind all of this, his brother being an agent to his only client, his younger brother, to then Tottenham fans singing, are you watching Harry Kane after we beat Man City, the team that wanted Tottenham and nicknamed us the Harry Kane team. To then all of a sudden, after a rocky start under Nuno Spirito Santo, firing form again, banging goals into net, and then just like that, who would have thought that Harry Kane would be declaring his stay, or potentially at least declaring his stay. I mean, there's not really much more I can say about this. Harry Kane has won golden boots before. Harry Kane is England's number one striker. Get the contract done, I say. Get it done. Pay, do whatever means necessary to get him to stay. Because I think, you know, Tottenham could be onto something here. Conte declaring his stay. Paratrici using Conte's links to get players in. I don't want to jump the gun. But I think it's safe to say that we are trying to start to get work done now. So those are my thoughts on it. Let me know what you all think about that. You know, Conte declaring his stay, Perisic linked to Tottenham, Harry Kane contract. Let me know as well, you know, any transfer rumours that you see that you might want me to do a video on. That's it for today. And um, yeah, enjoy the summer.